They start off with nice, big, beautiful portobello mushrooms, and then cut these about a half an inch thick, because remember, they're gonna shrink down a little bit, and also, it's very important that they cook nice and evenly. And not only are portobellos a nice, elegant mushroom, but they're hearty and they're meaty and they're filling. Now, I'm gonna marinate these in a little bit of this really wonderful dressing. This is roasted garlic balsamic vinaigrette. Great on a salad and great as a marinade. It's got balsamic in there, there's roasted garlic in there, vinegar, and all sorts of herbs and spices. You need just three quarters of a cup. I want to reserve a couple tablespoons, and that's going to be for my ricotta cheese. I'm going to use that as a beautiful spread on my crostinis. That's about right. Now, give your mushrooms a little massage. And they're gonna go into the fridge for just a couple hours, and those mushrooms are just gonna really absorb all of that wonderful dressing. And when they come out, they are just gorgeous. First, two tablespoons of canola oil. Just want to sear them. So I'm gonna put them into my saute pan. Spread them around so they cook up nice and evenly. Great. Now, let's start the ricotta spread. This is super simple, one cup of ricotta cheese into a bowl, and this is low fat. Gotta make up for that cake we're gonna make later on, right? Two tablespoons of that roasted garlic balsamic vinaigrette. This is gonna create such a wonderful spread on top of my crostini. It's just smooth and delicious and wonderful. To this, by the way, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And of course, in here is oregano and basil, marjoram, and a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. That's it. And you've got a great spread. How easy was that? I wanna cut my roasted red peppers up. So just take these, and you want thick little pieces. And these are gonna go right on top of my crostini. Just nice, long slices. And look at these mushrooms, they are already cooking away. Fantastic smell. And when you build these, can I tell you, you've got nice, crostini, crunchy, you've got a beautiful, elegant, delicious spread. You've got a gorgeous portobello mushroom with a pepper on top of that. And then a little bit of oregano and you get to take all of the credit. Onto a plate, I'm just putting my crostinis down. And you can buy these in the bakery section of the grocery store. You know, I never got, when you could buy something like this, why would you get your own bread, cut it up, have to toast it and go through all that? That takes 20 minutes all by itself. You can buy them pre-done and spend the time doing the entire appetizer. Just a little bit on each one of these, just create a beautiful foundation for your portobello. One last one. I gotta tell you, I could eat these just like this. That dip is so good. But my mushrooms are done. Look at them. Beautiful, they smell divine. Look at that. Now one of these goes on top of each one of my crostini. And don't be afraid to let that sauce run right down the sides. And now for the peppers. Look how pretty. Lay them right alongside the portobellos. And look at that presentation. It's not even done yet. Now the final touch is going to be just a little bit of oregano on top of each one of these. Just a leaf or two. Makes it very special, attention to detail. Look at that. And this is definitely a recipe that you might find at a very expensive restaurant, and look how easy it was. And that's it, five minutes, and look at how beautiful this is.